Watch up, welcome back to the Essential Handyman. Now this week I've been spending the kids' inheritance again. What can you do, hey? They can't take it with them, can they? Uh, and I bought a load of tools. This has come from, oh, I don't know, FFX, ITS, Tool Warehouse, I think, Tool Warehouse. And we've got a few bits and pieces, so let's open it up and see what we got. Got in here. I don't remember buying all this paper. An hour and a half. The world's biggest box. There's two thirds of it's full of paper. Bloody trees. I don't suppose you should be saying anything. A woodworker saying that, should I? Right. Okay. Right. First thing we got, we got some more Irwin clamps. I like these clamps. They're not the same as you know your your, your Bessies or anything like that, but it's so handy just for those little projects. So I got two 450 mil Irwin clamps. And they're on a special deal at the moment. If you buy an Irwin clamp from this company, I can't remember who it was. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description. You get the wide clamps accessory thrown in, the wide pad, and you also get, hold on a sec, the uh, clamp coupler for medium duty clamps. You get that thrown in as well. So you get two bits of that. So I had two of those 450 mil clamps. I also got, Two more of the 300 mil clamps. These are the medium duty ones, not the ultra heavy duty ones. And, it, and we got another two pairs of pads for those. So we've got four pairs of wide pads for the four clamps. The 300, 350 mil, did I say? The 300 mil uh, drawer opening size. You also get another one of these extenders as well, which you probably won't use, but they're handy for the bigger ones that you've got. Um, I got fed up of oil stones. I've got a load of oil stones and a load of uh, water stones and I can't for the life of me remember which one's water and which one's oil and I've got some other ones thrown in at a car boot sale and tool halls etc. And I think I put oil on the water or water on an oil and I put the square on them, the level on them and there's a couple of undulations. So I bit the bullet and I bought a diamond whetstone kit. Now we've got 400 grit, 600 grit, 1000 grit, flat as you like. Faithful, which are a fairly good brand. So we've got some of those, so we're gonna be sharpening up some tools and some chisels, etc. soon. I also got a set of, uh, and I haven't got any of these yet, because I tend to use drill bits and then I change, you know, take that out, new chuck, put a uh, countersunk bit in it, and I got fed up of doing that, so I bought a set of five countersunk uh, trend, um, drill bit so you can drill and counter zinc at the same time. These have been around for years. I was just so slow to get to the party sometimes. Useless. Uh, Vernier calipers. This is a fairly cheap one. I think these are about 30 quid. Uh, obviously these start from about 20 quid and go up to over 100 pound. So this is a fairly cheap set. Should do the job though, you know, for measuring those internal and external angles. I'd like to get into a little bit of um, Wood carving, I've got to buy myself a lathe first, but first things first, I need to get a bigger workshop probably, but bought myself some vernier calipers. I bought myself some a uh, set of Vera, or Vera, Vera, whatever the other, Vera, Vera Lins, will, you'll walk alone, hold on, how was it? You will never stand alone or something? I don't bloody know. Uh, batteries running out. Uh, Talk spits. I've got a set of these Stanley ones. I've got uh, I've got a set, two sets of Stanley hex Allen keys, Imperial ones and um, metric ones. But I didn't have a set of these Torx uh, security ones. I've got some screwdrivers. Got some Torx bits on the screwdrivers. I've got two or three of these different sized ones. And the screwdriver ones are really handy. But I wanted to get a full set, so I've got a whole set there. It comes in a case. That's quite nice. I'll show you these quickly. Get the damn thing open. 
Jam, what's going on here? It's like the Krypton Factor. Okay, so these are our Torx bits. And they've got the, um, one of them's got the hole, I think it's the number four. It's got the hole underneath, a couple of the big ones for the security settings. So you've got the holes at the end of them. Let's push that up. Put it up. There we go. So quite a nice little holder there. These things always come in handy. You know, faffing around with electrical items. A new Stanley Fat Max um, riveting gun. I have one of these, but it's died on me. It doesn't work anymore, so I'm gonna just gonna bin it. So I bought myself a new riveting gun. I bought some rivets recently at a car boot sale. So I've got a load of rivets and I didn't have a gun to use them. I've got another combination square. When my dad's van got broken into and he got all of his, not broken into, stolen with all these tools, I gave my dad my tools years ago. Uh, I think I had one of these. I don't think I gave it to him. I can't remember. I just lost it or it's one of the items I gave to him. But I was looking for it, for it the other day and I couldn't find it anywhere. I've had the workshop upside down so it's got obviously red love favorite color red so i bought myself a new combination square because i can't find mine anywhere uh, i have no idea what these are oh some spring calipers because i've got some i've got some internal calipers at a car boot the other week and I realised I don't have any external ones so to go with a vernier gauge and the internal calipers and external calipers oh got some hammer wedges uh, and the bolts are going on I like these round bolts I've never used those before thought I'd give those a go because I've got some sledgehammers and some pittocks and some mattocks and stuff like that to put together I've got a load of handles couple of different size handles I wanted to try different size handles um, for some files I bought a load of files recently that didn't have handles or had rubbishy split handles at the car boot sale they've got a four inch handle and a three inch handle so I'm going to see the difference see which one's more comfortable I mean they're like 60p each so does it matter I've got another half a dozen of those uh, and some more scutch hammer combs I found my scotch hammer the other day, and there's I've got one comb. I don't know where the other one is, so one end's got a comb, one hasn't, so I need to get some new scotch combs. Uh, that's the end of that box. I am refurbishing a, a sledgehammer handle at the moment. I've got one side almost done. But, oh. It gets so hot on the sand, I have to keep stopping. It's taken me a few days, so this side's almost done nice and shiny. That side's still got some pitting, and this side I've just hit it for a while. But I didn't have a handle, so I bought myself a nice sledgehammer handle. That's going to go in there. And this thing's nice and long. It's a faithful, genuine American hickory. 36 inches long. That was pretty cheap. I think that was only about seven quid. So I'm quite happy with that. And I also bought myself... Normally I'd just go down B&Q and buy stuff like this, but I bought myself a wooden broom handle because my, my, my broom died on me, the handle fell off of the head. I thought rather than uh, throw it away, as Trigger said, I want my original broom. Only 36 different heads and 45 different handles, or whatever the number was. Original um, broom. Did you know, road sweepers have got a, a, a stain that's been handed down through generations. Look after your broom. You Americans may not get that. The English probably will. Good old trigger, hey? Uh, and that's it. That's my tour haul. I've had a bit of a spend up, as I say, spending the kids' inheritance. Uh, some of these items, as I say, I needed. Some of them I didn't have. Some of them I was replacing. Uh, and I guess it's just retail therapy. Sometimes you just like to buy tut. Or useful stuff and when you start you know going back into your workshop after a long time or start out doing some bits and pieces and you're looking around and you know you've got to do X for a project and you haven't got it like at the moment I haven't got a chop saw or a table saw or a router table or a band saw I don't know all those items are on the list soon they're gonna be coming but it's you know it's getting the money isn't it 
So this was cheaper than all of those items, even the cheapest one of those items. But it's allowed me to do some other little small projects that just keep me going, and, you know, keep me happy in the workshop. So I hope you like the um, the video. Don't forget to click on the Twitter link and the Instagram link below. Click on the bell button that says subscribe, left or right, who knows. Uh, and give us a thumbs up. That always helps build the channel up. Um, you know, all the feedback we get. Post a comment, say if you liked anything here or any of these items uh, you didn't like or you have, or you know, if you've got anything, if you've got any of these items that you're particularly happy with or you're not happy with, just post a comment. Let us know you're watching and uh, I'll see you soon. See ya.